Good evening. I'm Anthony Hero Gale, geographer of the video highlights program you're watching this evening in Theta Land. I'm here at the post production facilities of Maury Wakefield, Video Focus Corporation. We're about to go into an editing session on tonight's program. This evening, we go to Santa Barbara, California, to the El Encanto Hotel, which is situated on the Riviera overlooking this marvelous city. We have a very special gourmet program this evening in which the Ma Maison restaurant of Los Angeles brings its staff and chef, Wolfgang Puck, to Santa Barbara to have a very special evening. We hope you enjoy tonight's program. I am Wolfgang Pack from Mamezo in Los Angeles, and I am here with my assistant, uh, John Sweeney, to prepare a dinner in Santa Barbara. We are very proud to prepare it. It's going to be for a gourmet society. We're going to have a lot of nice wines. We brought our own food with us. We brought fresh salmon. Also, we brought our own ducks, which we have a farmer, he raised it for us. We brought our own pastry chef, he's going to do the own, our pastry. So, we try to make a prepared dinner for around 60 people and make it really an event in Santa Barbara. We have John here, we're going to bone our salmon. As you can see, we have already one ready here. Then we're going to stuff it with a mousse of fresh shrimps and pike and wrap it up in a pastry shell and cook it in a 350 to 400 degree oven for 400, de for 400 degrees for about half an hour. Then as a first course, we have a lobster salad. We brought in our, also our fresh lobsters, which we're gonna serve with a beurre blanc with truffles, a little bit of fresh avocados, uh, mushrooms, a little bit of limestone lettuce, which is really a nice salad for California, which is really the spirit of California. Then we're going to serve our famous ducks in uh, two courses, which we're going to serve today with green peppercorns and Japanese mushrooms. We're going to serve it rare. After that, we're going to serve the leg crispy with our salad and the duck skin on it, the crisp duck skin mixed up with the green salad. Then we're going to have the third day show, which is little hot puff pastry cases filled with blueberry and fresh strawberry, which is a rarity in the, at that time of the year too and serve it with a hot caramel sauce. After that, we're gonna serve coffee naturally and uh, some petit four. We made our own chocolate truffles and some tuiles, some cigarettes or chocolate. Okay, I think we can go and see our pastry chef over there. He's working already. You wanna come over there? Here we are at the pastry shop at the El Encanto Hotel where we have our pastry chef, Claude Köberle, preparing our little puff pastry cases. So how do you prepare this, Claude? Well, basically it's a puff pastry which have in six turns, a lot of butter in this puff pastry. I just roll out the dough, thin, very thin, then cut in little square, make a nice design on top with egg wash, and cook them around 450 for about 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. And then we we'll remove from the oven and we're gonna stuff it with a muslin Grand Marnier with fresh blueberries and some sauce caramel sauce. And uh, so they don't call you for nothing, huh? the king of the calories, huh? Okay. Claude is uh, decorating his puff pastries and they're ready now to go in the oven. Okay, now we are almost ready. It's almost dinner time. The kitchen is starting to get busy. We have here our salmon on croûte, which is almost ready. You see it's in pastry shell and look wonderful like a real salmon. After that we're gonna have our duck press. That's the duck. They are grown specially for us. We're gonna cook them medium rare, peel the skin and cook the skin very crispy. John is uh, seasoning them. They're gonna go in the oven for about 25 minutes. Over here we have the duck legs. And we're gonna cook them for about 45 minutes and cook them really nice and crispy. So. That's for the second part of the duck. Okay, here we are again at the kitchen in the El, El Encanto Hotel and we are preparing our lobster salad. We have fresh main lobster, they are still alive, you can see. This one is 
maybe a little bit tired from the trip from LA. We're gonna boil them very quickly for about three minutes and put the tail and the claws on top of this salad here. You see that's a salad with the limestone lettuce, tomato concasse, fresh mushroom, fresh avocados, asparagus. It's really like a team of California. And we're gonna cover it with a light truffle butter. And we're gonna serve it that the lobster are gonna be a little bit warm on the top and the salad gonna still be cold underneath. Okay, here we have our Amis girl. That's how we call them in France. We eat them as a little bit our aperitif. These are little puff pastry with an anchovies in the middle or with an olive in the middle. And we serve them a little bit warm and it's to stimulate really your appetite with a cup of champagne, uh, with a glass of champagne or a glass of white wine or kia or whatsoever. You always take that in at the beginning of your meal. Good evening, I'm Eric Andrioli. I am the proprietor of the Ellen Cantor Hotel. And with me are two distinguished gentlemen. On my right is Monsieur Patrick Terai, the proprietor of Ma Maison Restaurant. Mr. Terai. Good evening, welcome. Mr. Andrioli. Nice to be in Santa Barbara. Why, well, thank you. Yes. Thank you. And on my left is Monsieur Miklos Dora of Chateau Mouton. Mr. Dora, welcome to the Ellen Canto. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. And of course, a pleasure to be in the company of the great Mr. Patrick Terai. I always enjoy his hospitality in Beverly Hills at the Mamazon restaurant. And You've known Mr. Terai for quite a while. Yes, I have to say that I know of him quite a long time. When he first came to Beverly Hills, I was lucky to be introduced to him to Lois Dwan, and since then we became quite friendly. Occasionally he pulls my leg, and but we get along quite well. You've had well. several nice meals at his restaurant? Excellent meals. And what is your relationship with uh, Mr. Dora? Well, Mr. Dora, I originally met even prior to opening my restaurant, actually. Yeah, I yeah, met right. at the Bacchus dinner at the Beverly uh, Wilshire Hotel under the auspices of Mr. Courtright. Hmm. Hernando was, Courtright. Yeah, mm -hmm. who owns the Beverly uh, Wilshire, and it was at that dinner that I was officially introduced to the restaurant and uh, wine community of Los Angeles, and we've stayed good friends and had many good meals together. Has he helped you with your wine list at Ma Maison? I didn't know he was in the wine business. Oh, you didn't? No. <laughs> <laughs> When we introduced the 1976 Bordeaux wines, mm. and we had a guest of honor, Jean-Michel Cas, the owner of uh, Lynch Barge, who was also the mayor of Pouillac, yeah. and he did a fantastic job. The food was excellent. There were a great number of, uh, of uh, very important people, Dinah Shore, and Mr. David Kelly, Jensen. David Jensen, and a great number. And uh, our good friend who is producing this picture that we, is, that we are in right now showed us the tape the other day here up in Santa Barbara at Eric Andreoli's Hotel at the El Encanto. And then we talked about it, we came up with the idea, couldn't we do something similar, a gourmet dinner here? And of course, Mr. Andreoli, being a young, enterprising young man, picked, crazy. Up, picked up the telephone, called Patrick Terai, and asked you to come. And he said, of course, I will come, but I'll bring my whole entourage. The chef, the sous chef, the, the uh, garde manger, you know, and everybody. And so... Samoyer. Everybody is here, and so this is the party tonight that we are... I, I should say that actually... We are uh, the guest of Mr. Andrioli, even though we're performing the dinner. But actually, you met my partner, Mr. Puck, who is the chef, chef and the man who is actually preparing the dinner before we start this evening. And uh, you met him in the Moulin Mouget on the south of France. That's right. I was coincidentally seated right next to him. And, it, and, and, and I understand that when you came, somehow or another, he said, you know, one day we should go cook in Santa Barbara. And I met this gentleman when I was in Mouget. We basically arrived yesterday not knowing too sure what we were getting into and you must be complimented because your hotel is splendid and your dining room is splendid, your facilities are beautiful and we're certainly looking forward to an enchanting evening and I understand you're even so lucky that you sold us out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that there's no more space. I, I didn't have to do a thing. Your reputation brought people here and it's been a joy working with you. You're a true professional and I'm looking forward to the meal very much. Well, we look forward to being here, and uh, thank you for inviting us. And I think we'll get the serious business, which is the dinner, which is the real reason why we're here. Right now. Bon thank appétit. You. Bon appétit. Thank you. 
Now I have the rare and distinct pleasure of introducing my wife, Ksenia, and Miss Beverly Jackson, who is the people columnist for the Santa Barbara News Press. Beverly, welcome to the El Encanto and our first wine appreciation and gourmet dinner sponsored by Ma Maison. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here, and my readers I know are going to be very anxious to re read about this tomorrow, just as the viewers are going to be very thrilled to see it. You've brought something very special to us here in Santa Barbara, Eric, and you've done wonderful things with the hotel. We're just so glad to have you in Santa Barbara. Well, and thank you. It's so nice having her here. <laughs> Well, we're looking forward to the evening's meal. They've been working on it all day, and we're going to have a real treat in store for us. And, uh, Ksenia, what do you have to say about the meal tonight? I'm really looking forward to this. It's uh, saving us a trip to Beverly Hills. They've come to us, and we're, we're absolutely delighted. We brought Beverly Hills to Santa Barbara tonight, huh? That's right. Yeah. We're very fortunate to have Kate and Brooks Firestone with us tonight, and it's very fitting that they're here, because tonight is very food and especially wine-oriented, and you two have done marvelous things for this community as far as wine's concerned. Which one of you is going to do the talking? <laughs> well, delighted to be here. Kate will do the dancing. I think before we get into wine, I should say that she was a leading ballerina with the Royal Ballet in her day, and now she's home with the vineyards. Now, Brooks, tell the re viewers about the vineyards, will you? Well, we, we, we planted in 1972, and, and our first harvest was in 75, and so we're a relatively new area in, in the world, but uh, the, the How setting... How close to Santa Barbara is Firestone Vineyards? Well, we're about 45 minutes over the mountains of the San Marcos Pass in, in, the, in the valley, and it's becoming quite a, a wine area. It's becoming well known, the, the area of, of the Seti Nez Valley. You were the first ones in the area, weren't you, to do it on a really commercial basis? Well, we were the first winery. There was uh, grapes grown there for many years. We were the first ones to build a winery. And now there's five or six wineries, and they're all doing extremely well. What is your basic wine? I know you're bottling several varieties Well, now. we're drinking Chardonnay and Riesling tonight, and then we have Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Noir, and Gewürztraminer. So, so you have five wines. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, and we're going to sample them tonight. Absolutely. Oh, that's Absolutely. wonderful. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's marvelous. Kate, what are you doing in the vineyards these days? <laughs> I, I don't do as much as I did when we first started um, because when we were first starting out we all pruned and tied and picked and did everything that was going. Um, now we're more inside the winery probably most of yeah. the time. Well, you're way much And I'm the way master. She's the official way master. Way master. Bonded, master. Now, uh, can you clarify that? Does that mean as you pick the grapes, they're brought in in buckets uh, and Kate weighs them in? Absolutely, yes, yes. indeed. Yes. Uh -huh. How much does a bucket of grapes usually weigh? Well, now we bring them in in half-ton boxes. Oh, <laughs> you don't bring them in on poles over your shoulders. Larger, <laughs> a little bit larger. It weighs uh, 20 pounds in the morning and 40 pounds in the afternoon. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> How long have you been in the Santa Barbara area now? Well, just that now, seven, eight years. Seven yes. or eight years, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, you've been a wonderful addition to the community. Thanks. You give so much of yourselves to all civic, charitable projects. It's been wonderful having you here, and I'm really looking forward to those wines tonight. Thanks, Thank Beverly. you, Beverly. Thank you. Thank you. We have here two very close friends of mine who know a great deal about food, a great deal about wine, and are two marvelous people. Liliana Hartley, lovely Italian who came to Santa Barbara. How many years ago, Liliana? Oh, many, too many. I don't really want to remember how many. Maybe, oh, let's say 25. <laughs> but what a wonderful addition she's been to our community, and she'll know about the food tonight because she is a superb cook when you can lure her into her own kitchen. And with us also is Mark Taper. Now, you see, he isn't a forum. He's a real live man. <laughs> Mark, I think you are best known. I know of so many wonderful philanthropic things you've done, not just for California, but for the world. But I'm afraid since you donated the forum to the Los Angeles Music Center, Mark Taper is known as Mark Taper's Forum. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very happy to be Mark Taper's Forum. And I'm, I'm delighted to be in Santa Barbara, which I love. 
and uh, I love good food, and that's why I'm here. Well, I think you're going to have it tonight. I peeked in the kitchen for just a brief moment and was quickly thrown out. We're going to have some wonderful surprises, but you both dine quite often at Ma Maison, so I don't think you'll be too surprised. Oh, I love it. It's my favorite restaurant. Uh -huh. I really think it's special. Think so. There is not one restaurant in Los mm. Angeles that I appreciate this much. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Well, and I can't believe how they've transported the whole restaurant up here tonight, oh and in God. the rain. Mm -hmm. And I must say, rain is unusual for us. We usually have beautiful weather. <laughs> it's only to make a London atmosphere for Mark. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it, exactly. <laughs> well, I guess it's almost time for us to get in for that very special dinner, so thank you so much for stopping in. Alain Clunet, you have brought fame to Santa Barbara, not because of food, which we're here celebrating tonight, or wine, but because of automobiles. You've done some very exciting things. How long have you been in Santa Barbara? Uh, about five years. And uh, I didn't bring fame here. I came here because Santa Barbara was famous. Thank you. Mm. Tell us a little bit about the automobile. It bears it is, your name, it, I know. It, it is, yes. It, first, it is a very difficult business. It's a crazy business. And uh, uh, it is very difficult, and uh, I wanted to have fun doing it. So I came in an area which is a fun area. Um, and built an incredible car. Can you describe to the audience what this car looks like? There's no other car on the it road, is, anything like it. It is uh, a classic automobile, which is uh, a practical one, in a way that it is a modern automobile with uh, all the uh, beautiful things, nostalgia included, that the 1935 had to offer. And uh, it's made with a lot of love. When the cars today are made in Detroit or in Japan or wherever, with a lot of people and in an atmosphere which is not conducive to make a, a product of love. So first we had to come to Santa Barbara, which is an area of a lot of love. And uh, the people who are doing it are beautiful people. How long does it take to make one of your cars? They don't well, look like they roll off the factory every half hour. No, no, we, we, we make actually one every two days right now, but every one of them takes eight months of developed time if one person only were to work on it. Well, they look it. They're beautiful thank cars. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. They say all the attractive people in the world are coming to Santa Barbara now, and here's more proof of it. Madame Muller, who has just arrived from Paris, her son Jacques Boisson, who's been living here quite a while. Madame claims that her English isn't too good, so Jacques, you're on the spot. You're going to be doing the talking tonight. You're particularly interested in the wine here tonight, I think. Yes, well, uh, tonight we're going to serve... Uh, the wine of our vineyard from the south of France. Your vineyard? Yes. Oh. In south of France. And uh, it's going to be for the first course. And it's a uh, rosé from 76. How long have you been in the wine business? Oh, about 20, 20 years. 20, 25 20 years. years. Yeah. And exactly where is the vineyard? In the in south of France, close to Saint-Tropez. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there are great elements of surprise here tonight. I think all the Santa Barbans are looking forward to it. I have yes. wonderful plans. And your wine particularly, madame, we are looking Amazing. forward to trying. This is Mrs. Jean-Louis. The Jean-Louis moved to Santa Barbara about three years ago. Is that right, right. Maggie? About three. Mm -hmm. And they've brought wonderful things to our town, starting with great glamour. Maggie naturally is dressed by her very famous husband who's dressed such other people as Marlena Dietrich, Loretta Young, and just all the great glamorous women of the world. Jean's not with you tonight, is he, No, Maggie? he's in bed with uh, bronchitis, very ill, I'm sorry to say, but he oh. sent his love to everybody. Oh, well, we're going to miss him tonight, and we were lucky to lure you out, because I know you're working full-time on the big benefit coming up for St. Francis Hospital here in Santa Barbara. Is it May 12th, 13th? It's May the 16th, 17th, and possibly the 18th, and uh, we're getting geared for it right now. And can you tell the viewers exactly what the benefit is? Maybe? Yes, uh, it's going to be, it starts with an auction on Friday, and we're bringing a, a big group of people up from Los Angeles. We're hiring a big bus, we're serving lunch on board the bus, and they're all coming up. We have a big reception committee. Beverly is chairman of the hostess group, and Mrs. Andrioli is also in charge of uh, greeting the guests. And Friday night there's a big auction, people are coming from all over the world for it, and Saturday, there, from fr Friday night on there'll be a series of parties and cocktail parties and lunches honoring everybody. We hope to raise enough money on that weekend 
to do do a lot of good for St. Francis Hospital. They need quite a lot to, their running expenses are high and they need to augment the things they already have and we hope to be able to help them with that. One very exciting thing you've planned, I know Maggie, for this big event is opening the private mission garden at the Santa Barbara Mission. Yes. Haven't the Franciscan Fathers yes, there allowed yes, it to uh -huh. open? Yes, that's very unique. It's never been open to the public for a public party before. This will be a first, and we're very excited about that because it's a beautiful garden. Yeah. It's exquisite. I was and there uh, only once, which sadly was for a reception after a funeral, so this will be a happy <laughs> time to go. Are you going to get them to ring the mission bells? That's a good idea. Oh, I think we should have the mission bells yes. ringing because well, the mission is very important to us in Santa yes, Barbara. Our, a lot of our life centers around it. Well, maybe you can charm them into ringing the bells. Well, between <laughs> us, we'll be a committee of two to try right. and bring you the mission That's a deal. Bells. Thank you. Ben. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful dinner ahead of you now. Thank you, dear. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, here we have the lobster tails that have been cooked for the salads. It's just a matter of breaking the shells, peeling them out for the chef to make the final steps for preparing the salad. Now they go to the chef. What's happening? Hey, baby. What's happening, Chef? Hey, we're gonna cut the lobster now, man. For what? For what? It's for the pretty girls in the outside. All right. See yeah. What? what are you gonna do with these lobsters? Yeah. Uh -huh. We're gonna catch them. We have enough? Yes. Maybe. Just so the mush on these, huh? Yeah, each, <laughs> each, each girl get a tail. Oh, yes. yes. Oh. Does, each, does each chef get a tail also? <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out later. <laughs> There's some leftover maybe, maybe for, for you. Maybe for dessert, huh? Okay, this is the dog breast that we're going to serve in two course after the salmon. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's why I came here. <laughs> and we're going to serve it the breast first and then the legs. <coughs> we just roast it in the oven and we're just going to slice the filet freshly and just put it in the oven on each plate. Okay, this is the salmon en coute, which is now on baking and uh, as you can tell it's got just going to start a golden beautiful color which is going to be the first course in the main course and uh, as you can see it's going to take a few more minutes we're going to serve that with a beurre blanc, which is a lime butter, very lightly, with butter, with lemon, chives and shallots. I'm having an orgasm right now with my lobster. Okay, we are dressing our hot lobster on the cold salad. Claude going to put the salad on, yes. It's uh, already so fast, I come very much. Okay, I'll turn the, the pinza first. Put first the No, no, May on the top. Okay, okay. voila. Put it on the top. Okay. okay, now here we have our salmon in crude, which come from the northwest from Seattle, like this uh, little pretty girl. Huh? This is true. This is true, that's nice. We're gonna s present the salmon like that on a silver tray, and then we're gonna slice it and serve it with the beurre blanc, which is a reduction of white wine, shallots, and tarragon. And we add to that butter. And it's where you can serve it as a first course, as a appetizer, and it's really nice to present it for a dinner party or whatsoever. So, and since salmon is a speciality from out from the west coast, from the northwest, so we do that here. Chef, huh? How many people are we serving tonight? How many? Around 200. 200? You yeah. think we have enough? We have enough of them. Yeah, you know they are. We can uh, pull them so. I think we better call for Jean Paul's help, no? Yeah, maybe we're gonna tell Jean Paul and send us some more. And we slice our salmon here with an electric knife since it's much better than with a normal knife. Since with this knife the crust don't break as you can see. One, one, two, three, one. Okay, voila, the best uh, knife sharpener in the world. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, look how it cut now, huh? Wonderful. Be careful your little finger. Yeah. Yes, try. We don't charge extra. No. Voila. We have to introduce Jean Paul, the chef of the hotel here, of the El Encanto. Okay, Jean Paul. The chef here, and he's from Toulouse in France, and he's the resident chef here, huh? Yes. Yes. How long you're here already? 
in El Encanto? No, yeah, in El Encanto Hotel. Six months. Six months, you like it here? Yeah, I Yeah? Is Mr. Andreotti nice? He's nice, yes. Oh, okay, he's a good friend of mine, so I hope so. If not, I'm gonna hit him next time. <laughs> or beat him at tennis, I don't know. <laughs> so what do you cook normally here? French food or? French food, yes. Yeah? What is your specialty? Meeting. <laughs> yeah, well, what? Yeah, veal. veal. What do you like best to cook? I like a lot of duck. Dark, me too. And fish on cold. Fish on cold, yeah, me too. You too? Nice. Oh, that's good. What else? Dessert too? Dessert, yes. Now, what do you make dessert here? Tartare. Yeah? Tartatin. So tartatin. the people from LA are going to come on Sunday now, huh? And eat the tartatin. The fish on cold better than at my maison. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's not half, but, you know. Okay. So, I hope we're going to come back too. It was really nice to work here, Thank huh? you very much. Yeah. Here we have our duck breast from our special race ducks. You see they are still rare. They are not really well done since if the duck gets well done, it gets really tough and the flavor is all the way. And we have Japanese mushrooms, which is a Japanese farmer. He grows it specially for us with uh, near Fresno. And also we serve it with a nice armagnac sauce with green, fresh green peppercorns. Here we have the skin. We're gonna roast it here, it's still very fatty, but we're gonna roast it until all the fat disappear and gonna mix it like bacon, like you would mix bacon with a salad. And we serve it with the leg at the end, after the breast crispy. Okay, voila, See, now you have your duck ready with the ammoniac sauce and the peppercorn. Okay. Voila. Okay, we have Junior Chicken Johnson and Jean Paul doing the duck legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On was marié cette année. Yes, we 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 have the duck legs. They're crispy. We have a little bit of sauce underneath, and we have to work always very clean. And we eat them with our salad over there. So that's the final second party of the duck. So we have a first course, a second course. And after we have the intercourse. Okay. Well, we are back here at the Ellen Kinder Hotel in the kitchen. And Wolfgang, please tell us exactly what you're doing, what it consists what of. What I am doing? I'm just watching you. I mean, that's already well, a lot. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us a little bit about what it is, what you're preparing Do they here. have many beautiful girls like you here in Ellen Kinder? Wolfgang. <laughs> Uh-huh. Back to business. <laughs> uh, okay, what business? Serious business? <laughs> so what is that? You know that? That's a fruit. It looks great. Yeah, that's a fruit of blueberries. You know, see, that's the blueberries. You want to try one? Touch it with my finger, but they are mm. very clean today. Beautiful. That's a fruit of blueberries. It's one of Claude's specialties. He's the king of calories. Terrific. So how, yeah. How would you like to eat that? Oh, I would love it. What is this brown sauce on it? It's a caramel sauce. Taste oh, caramel it. sauce. So oh, my God. Sugar, caramel, mm. and cream. Good, huh? Yeah, excellent. Great. Yeah. How would you like to eat it? I would love it. Can I have yeah. it? Yeah, when? How, you, how would you eat it? Well, you can feed, me, feed it to me. Yeah. I would, I would like to eat it or, or, or from you or from your naked body or from naked woman. Come on, Wolfgang. You wouldn't like it to eat it that way? We're really pleased that we were invited to come here, and uh, as uh, Mr. Miklas Dora kindly said, we hope it's not a yearly function, and I hope we're the beginning of many things for this wonderful inn here, Lost in the Mountain, because there are other restaurants, and I'm not going to tell you that there's not other restaurants. We're glad we're the first. We hope we're not the last, and we hope that we're the beginning of something in Santa Barbara where we'll open the door for more restaurants to come and visit you. There are many wonderful restaurants in Los Angeles, and we certainly hope with this kind of environment that they will take the opportunity that we've had to uh, come and cook a wonderful dinner. I should pay, uh, at this point, my respects to many people who've made it possible. First, I gotta tell you, the rooms here are wonderful. They have a wonderful staff here, and they've really been great. And they're real nervous, and a little, uh, I think Mr. Andrew was probably more nervous than anyone else when we showed up yesterday because we were a little relaxed and a little cool when we work. But uh, we really had a wonderful time being here. And the dining room staff who served you certainly deserve a good hand because they were a little uh, excited about us, us coming here and we, they thought that we were really much better than we are. 
Actually, they taught us a few tricks, so who would give them a hand? Our associates have Mr. John Sweeney. Mr. Sweeney. Hey. La Maison. Junior Sweeney, he normally plays for the Los Angeles Lakers. <laughs> After that, I'd like to introduce you our so another associate chef, Mr. Claude Coberly, who is also our head pastry chef, whose wonderful chocolate you're eating. <laughs> Last but not least, I'd like to introduce two of our staff members who came up with us. Mr. Bernard Vepicum, who was, drove up just today to help us serve the wine. Bernard, if you want to come out of Belgium. He's <laughs> And without whom I don't travel, and hopefully I'll drive you safely back to L.A. And the man who is most deservedly so of the dinner, my partner and chef, Mr. Wolfgang Puck. We thank you all for giving us the opportunity to serve you. We hope we can do it again. To your health. A toast to the chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah.